Hi, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video, I'm going to be configuring uh, standard access control lists. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to basically we're just going to have two routers here, and we're going to we're going to have two loopback interfaces to simulate our customer networks. And then what I'm going to do is set up an uh, an ACL on uh, on router one and uh, we'll see what happens here. Okay, so I'm back here. Uh, I'm going to go into router 1 now and uh, just configure it. What we'll do, we'll just run uh, I don't know, maybe we'll just run uh, RIP version 2 as our routing protocol between the, uh, the routers. So we'll change the host name. configure our fast internet interface to router 2 and now we're doing our loop back IP address 192.168.1.0 I'm sorry 1.1 slash 24 we run router rip we run version 2 uh, wait router rip version 2 Auto summary. We're running for network 192.168.1.0 and then network 172.16.1.0. Okay, so router 1 is set up. Let's go into router 2 here. Name router two, go in the line zero, no exact timeout, which is critical in GNS3. So if you don't set the exact timeout, then you're going to have, you know, uh, your CPU utilization is going to jump back up again after your, uh, you know, after your host session is uh, timed out. So we're going to set that uh, basically so that it never times out. And now what we're going to do is go into interface loopback 0, IP address 192.168.2.1 slash 24, then interface fashion unit 00, IP address 172.16.1.2, that's our connection to router 1, and that's a slash 30. Then we're going to do a, go ahead and do a rip version 2. Okay, sorry about that phone call. Um, all right, so now what we do, you know, auto summary. Uh, then we're going to advertise our networks directly connected. So 192.168.2.0 and then network 172.16.1.0. Okay, so now if we do a show IP protocols, we can just verify that we got grip running on the router. You can see the networks that we're routing for. You can see the interfaces and now if we do a show IP route okay, it looks like we're only seeing our directly connected interface right now let me uh, do a show IP interface brief here okay, it looks like the fast internet is admin down so I'm going to go ahead and no shut that port and verify I router one that I have the same. Okay, fashion units up on there, so we should be good to go now. So if I do a show, uh, show IP protocols, I'm sorry, show IP route, now you can see, let's see, okay, so if we do a show IP route, you can see now that we have the RIP route in router two, the, uh, 
we we'll loop back on router one. So if we just do a ping 192.168.1.1, we have connectivity. So before we do anything, we want to make sure we have the full IP reachability. So from router one, we're going to ping uh, the loop back on router two 192.168.2.1. So okay. So we have reachability. So now what we want to do is we're going to create a standard access list. Actually, you know what? I forgot. Let's do this. Let's make another loopback interface here on router uh, one. Loopback one. We'll give it the IP address 192.168.100.1. And we're going to go into rip. 192.168.100.1. 